Oh my goodness, February 15 and we're 74 degrees here in the Carolinas. Oh my goodness. I'm just leaving my house, going on a slight mission. Quick trip to the post office and then to the hardware store because I'm going to get some light bulb extensions. And we'll take a scenic route. Quick trip to the post office and then we'll head down to the old Ace Hardware that's close by. I want to drive all the way to across town to the Lowe's or Home Depot for something this small. And then we'll pass on through the ritzy neighborhood, including the blue house with the yellow door and that precious. Yeah, man, it is warming up quick here. I think tomorrow is supposed to be in the mid 70s as well for this area. Crazy weather we're having, but I don't mind, and I'm sure most of you guys, if uh, you're surviving winter, probably feel the same way. So we're going to be stuck following behind this oil burning Honda CRV. Perfect. Repainting the old bank. A little bit of concrete work next door. People sitting on their asses. Good. Typical work workers from the city. All right, he's gotten out of the way. Good. Continue along here. Heading through the old historic, well, close to the historic district. This is kind of sort of the rundown district with a Winnebago or Country Squire Camper Ovar. Crack the old winders. It's getting quite comfortable. Old muffler shop looks like they're pretty busy. Yeah, you got them sales whole rack on the back of their GMC. Huh. All right, we're here at the old post office. Yeah, South Carolina concealed weapons permit advertising on the side of the old truck. Yeah, and there's another school mass shooting, and that's something. Go ahead, hurry up. Yeah, there is a. Good old boy. There's concealed weapons permit. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> All right. Well, we're heading on out. We're good. All right. We'll continue along the way. Yeah, I'm not going to delve too much into this toxic topic, but only thing I need to say about these mass shootings, I see no reason that assault rifles need to be sold to the public. No reason at all. Pistols, you know, small handguns, okay, I can understand that, you know, self-defense. But assault rifles, I think, need to stay with, you know, the police department, which I'm passing by right here, and the military. I mean, those, in my opinion, are the only ones that need access to assault rifles, you know, semi-automatic handguns, you know, pistols, you know, I can understand that, you know, concealed weapons permit for something small, but other than that, no, the assault rifles need to be for the trained police and military, and that's just my take on it. So, now we're passing through the downtown, so I Head towards the old, uh, well, passing by the old fountain, why not? We'll check that out. Eh, fancy. Got to head down to the old small hardware store here. Oh, another new building. Wow. Isn't that fancy looking? Huh. School center. This here Yeller House. I used to live there back in the 90s. Now it's an accounting office. I'm gonna take a detour here. Going around. I need to get on this other road here to get to the get to the old hardware store. That's what I'm trying to think of. And this used to be the old Red Coach Inn. Now it's just bulldozed property because there used to be a lot of 
a lot of sketchy folks and drug deals and all that crap going on. So the city took possession and uh, said, nope, no more. Bulldoze the property. Back in the day, this park grocery used to be a hardware store, but it's closed down. Looks like the store is closed down as well. Huh. It's tough to have a storefront business these days. Everything seems to be going internet. Yeah, just a sign of the times. Red's Grill Restaurant. Woo! Small advance auto parts and right around this here mortuary is Ace Hardware. And look for these bulb extensions that I need. I gotta be careful pulling in here with my hitch. Okay, I think we're good. Alright, let's see if I can find them. I'm hoping they do have them. Nope, they don't have them. Damn it. So there might be a there's a lighting place near my place. So I'm gonna check out see if maybe they have them. If they don't, then uh, I guess we're gonna have to shop around. All right. Well, we'll just back on out of here and head on out. Damn, that sucks. You look for them online, but their descriptions aren't real. The pictures are deceiving. So, I don't really know if you're getting the right ones or not, but, yeah, yeah we'll swing by that decorative lighting place, and if they don't have them, then uh, I guess I'm going to have to search online and try to find the right ones. Just awesome. Yeah, it's getting warm in here. Moat digger. So we'll just record the drive to and fro. Restoring another old house, or are they getting ready to move it? Uh, I can't really tell. Huh. Fountain Park Place, our tax dollars, ladies and gentlemen. This was not here before, but pretty much I guarantee that it was definitely our tax dollars that paid for this. Fancy looking building with a parking garage, and that's something. More construction. Man, I think our infrastructure or our water lines are the main issue around here. They seem to be breaking a lot. Oh boy, I don't even know what that is. Some party place. Wow. Ooh, purple building, isn't that precious? Alright, let's roll people. Available for commercial rental, I guess. Or residential, I don't know. There, I think this is it. This is decorative lighting. So, I don't think I've ever been in here. We'll see if they got what I'm looking for here. Oh. Ooh, fancy.
Hey, all right, how's it going? Can I help you with? Yeah, I was checking to see if you carry uh, extensions, like socket extensions, like about two inches in length. I got recessed lighting and I need to have them. You do? Okay, great. Uh, Okay. I don't, but I think he's supposed to be a very good trim guy. Well, there they are. Man, ten dollars a piece, but they got ceramic on on the outside. This should work. I'll show you the project that I got. I had to get these regular size ones, and just brought one of my little energy efficient bulbs just to make sure I got the right size. But yeah, I got a couple black lights I'm putting up. I'm over my headboard just for fun, but I want to make sure that these will be long enough because the reset they got recessed light bulbs in the headboard, and yeah, the, the neck of the screw part here from the bulb is too short and won't reach the, the socket, so this should work. Oh, man, ten dollars a piece! Wow. Okay, noted for future reference. Okay, well, yeah, they got all sorts of lights, used lights, but yeah. Those extensions, yeah, I was kind of surprised they were that much. I was trying to buy them on, you know, find them on eBay, but man, they just don't, they're just not very accurate on their descriptions. Pictures are deceiving, so. Okay, so let's go. Try them out here since I'm so close to my house. Just wrap up the driving adventure and, uh, Continue the project when I get home. Oh, look, a little yard sale. Isn't that cute? Okay, well, it's a little dark in here, but this is the light. It's American lighting. It's a black light, and this is where it's going to go, but it's kind of recessed in there, so let me put this extension piece in there like that. That might work. And then we'll screw this one in. Oh yeah, perfect. Swing it on around. That's probably good about right there. So yeah. So I'm basically got a bachelor pad again. I'm kind of rigging it up as such. Let me do the other side over there. Okay, here we go. There's the other black light. This is the one that I've had for a while. And again, it's Lights of America. That's what it is. So, yep. These are 75 watt output, 22 watt input. So basically 22 watts per bulb it uses. So I'll take this light out here. And then we'll put the extension in. Like that. There we go. And then we'll put the black light in. It's a little something like that there, if you will. It's fun trying to do this with one hand. Let's see here. All right, now try to turn them on. There we go. Woo! Party time. <laughs> So yeah, perfect. Those extension pieces work excellent. They were just the right length. Awesome. But yeah, ten dollars a piece with tax. It was like eleven twenty nine or something like that. High tax. So well, neat. So yep, yeah, that's kind of what it looks like there. Just kind of getting them level. And uh, yeah, that's the other one. Sweet. We'll take a look at what they look like at night. Alright, so it's gotten a little darker. I broke out a couple of the shirts. Awesome football shirts to give you an idea just how bright it get that uh, these lights can 
make anything that's luminescent. My Buffalo Bills and Carolina Panthers shirt. So, yeah, these turned out really good. So, yep, the circular style. Or they call them, I think they're the Circu or whatever, but I'll, I'll put a link in the description uh, to the ones I bought on Amazon. And uh, for those, if you're wanting to turn your bedroom into a, a party central, but uh, yeah, I don't have any black lights or anything like that. That's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot else that's reflecting off of it. So, but yeah, there you go. So after getting my adapters up in there, which you can see, yep, there's one. That worked. Basically two inch adapters. So it's just enough for the, the wide neck of the black light to come down far enough where it will screw in because before it wouldn't it wouldn't reach so but yep there you go so I'll just wrap up this adventure getting light extenders and testing out my circular black lights for my bedroom so until the next thrilling video adios